Alright guys, how you doing? And welcome finally to Project Cars 2. So this game has been a long time coming, but it is finally here. And with it, we are starting a brand new review series, Driven and Drifted. So in the game, we get around 180 cars for us to drive around the tracks, including stuff like this little thing, the Honda 2 and 4 concept. Other stuff like a Ford F-150 RTR, which looks amazing. And my baby, my baby is here. Don't worry, this will be coming very soon. But today, as I'm sure you can see in the title, we are focusing on one of my favourite new cars from the past year, the McLaren 720S. So just like every car in the game, you get quite a few colour choices. Now, there is quite a few that I like here, including the uh, blue, <laughs> reminds me of the Wira. That just looks like piss, it looks disgusting. That looks good, the Volcano, vol Volcano? Volcano, you bloody idiot. Jesus, learn to, learn to English, Frank, please. But the one I'm going to be going for is the Glacier White, because I actually seen the 720S, I walked around it and made a video on it a couple of months ago at a Tartan Tarmac event. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you want to go and see that, guys. And while you are down there, a wee like would be always appreciated. Yous are all awesome. So yeah, I'm giving you a little bit of a walk around right now, or a little bit of a showcase around the car. A lot of people didn't really like this thing when it first came out in terms of the aesthetic front. Me, I absolutely adore the thing. I mean, to me, there's not one angle that this thing doesn't look good. Seriously, I mean, the front with the whole sort of air vents around the front lights, I just think that's so cool, man. Really, really nice. And the fact that it reminds me of the T20 from GTA only spurs my love on even more. And the little 720S bit on the side skirts there, or the side sort of panels. And the back end is just glorious, look at that! And it has obviously got the massive air brake slash spoiler as well. One of the best looking cars in my opinion. Let me know what you guys make of it in the comment section below. But right now, let's head to Algarve and test this thing out. So here we are then, we have arrived at Algarve, one of my favourite circuits in the world. So good. If it looks familiar, this is actually where Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Tamman and James May done the big test of the Holy Trinity on the Grand Tour. And just look at this thing in the sunlight, man. I love it. If I had the money to buy one of these things, this would be the colour. I'd probably change the trim on the interior and make it like white or something to kind of match it. It's just gorgeous. Now anyway, the one thing I love about this game is the noises. So I'm going to shut up right now and let you guys hear the McLaren in all its glory. <laughs> Sounds so good, so crackly and everything. Now, obviously, the interior is properly cool. It's got the big, massive sort of iPad looking screen right there. And probably the coolest feature on this thing is the retractable sort of like speedometer and stuff. It kind of goes up and it slides back in. I don't know if it does it in this game. I've not seen it doing it yet, but it's just really, really cool. I've kind of got the camera put back a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the interior and it just adds to the realism of it. And I have kind of played about with the actual sort of controller settings because I am playing on a controller. But let's go right now. I've got it in manual gears. So we should be pretty good with this thing. 720 horsepower. And I've got the sort of driving line on right now because I'm still new to the game, obviously. Still quite new to this track. But in terms of like improvements from Project Cars 1, the handling is just on a freaking other level in terms of the controller man because don't get me wrong there's some points where you can still sort of spin out and trust me it happens a lot because I was testing this car out and the game quite a lot last night I wanted to be prepared for this video because it <laughs> with, <laughs> with the other game yeah you needed to be prepared round the 
brilliant, brilliant freaking hairpin corner right there, man. I love this track, I really do. I've seen it in a lot of Chris Harris's reviews, and I would love for it to come into Forza. I'm actually surprised why it isn't in Forza yet. But anyway, enough chit chat. What is the car like? Now, obviously, I am more of a Forza guy, and I am playing on controller, but this game is meant to be taken properly seriously on a wheel, but it is so much better this time. So much better, as I said, with the controller. Okay, breaking a wee bit round here, following the lines. Jump in the line, knock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Right, this is one of my favourite freaking sections right here, man. Oh, <laughs> I love this. I really, really do, man. Break, 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 break. Where we go? On to the freaking apex. Oh, the sound of this engine as well, man. Such a great sounding game. I know a lot of people have been saying that in their reviews. And apparently, a lot of you guys have been saying to me that the SVR sounds heavenly. So, I am very excited to review that thing. That will probably be the next, the next episode. That was quite a smooth first lap. That's actually the best I've done. Seriously, and I'm recording and all. And it's sixth gear down the main straight. Will we do it on the outside view? Oh, there's that big, big air brake, man. Look at that. Such a sexy rear end. I freaking love the thing. Now, you can also turn on all the gauges and stuff like that, which is absolutely awesome. On the outside view, I kind of like this little one, just so it shows you, like, when to change gear and everything as well. Oi! Little bit sketchy right here. This is the only view which is pretty damn sketchy in terms of, like, high speed and everything, because you need to watch yourself in this game. As I said, it has been proved, but it's a pretty sketchy break, for God's sake! Oh my God! Anyway, back on track. Break down into this bit right here. Oh my God! Ooh. Now, I was actually just watching one of Sam Andrews' videos, guys, and he said that he's going to be getting one of these pretty damn soon. So, very, very excited to see what he does with it because you all know him. He does some like crazy raps on his cars. I mean, Danny e even mentioned the Porsche Carrera GT that he has in that. I think it's ruby stone red, even though everyone thinks it's pink for some reason. <laughs> so I remember doing a homage to him in Forza Horizon 3 when the Carrera GT came in. And everyone was like, oh, why'd you paint it pink? No, it's ruby stone red. Ruby stone red, man. Looks absolutely sick. So I'm very excited to see what he does with this thing. I don't know what colour. I think he'd go for, like, a, a bright orange, because he had a 675LT, which was bright orange. And this car looked great in that colour. Anywho, enough of sort of run. Okay, that's a little bit faster in there, man. I'm more settled in the freaking cockpit view. Not a big fan of the outside view in this game, so we're going to jump back in here. But we'll do helmet cam. Why not? This is a really, really cool camera for this. Since we've got the dash there, we don't really need to worry about having the dials up. This is the one thing which you need to kind of tweak as well. I've kind of tweaked the brake sensitivity in this game just so you can actually give it a wee bit more, like, fucking, what do you call it? A little bit more braking. That's essentially what I'm trying to say because the sensitivity in this is kind of shit when you start. So you need to kind of turn it up a wee bit for the car to brake a little bit more, power. a little bit more with more power. That's what I'm trying to say. Set in gear. God, I love this track. I love this track to bits. I really do, I really do love this track. Now, currently, I do have traction control on. Because <laughs> I don't want to die. But in a little second, we will turn it off. Just to see what it's like. I tried it the other night, and I'm not going to lie, I nearly shot myself. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. But with everything that I've done to it, and the tweaks, and the settings and that, should be okay. The, the biggest word in that sentence is should. <laughs> should be okay, we shouldn't die. Oh, God, listen to that. Oh, oh, oh. man, oh, man, a big, big twin turbo V8 from this thing. Nearly, I think it's like 2.7 seconds to 60 as well. It's freaking crazy. McLaren are coming out with some great cars, man. Obviously, we had. 675LT, which still isn't in a freaking Forza game. 
Hopefully that's in Forza 7, because if it is, that's definitely going to be one of my first reviews. And speaking of Forza 7, getting slightly, slightly off topic, guys, a couple of cars were leaked. And the Fiat 124 Spider's in it! Yes! The Aborf is in! My little fun little roadster is in, man. Cannot wait to drive that little thing. Also, the Kia Stinger, that is coming in. And for some reason, remember how I says that the Hellcat isn't in the game? It is in the game, so they kind of forgot to unveil that, which was kind of weird. I mean, the Hellcat Charger, I should say. Which is kind of weird why they didn't reveal it, because it's one of my favourite muscle cars ever. But anyway, let's pull over right now and, <laughs> and probably attempt suicide. Let's go into options, gameplay, and traction control off. And try and do stability control as well. Oh my god, this is going to be a bit scary now. Right, in the first gear. Oh man, oh wait, I can, <laughs> can immediately feel it. Now the other cool thing about this game is you can see the driver's wheels coming on and off the gas as well. And hitting the brake. Whoa, 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 okay. Back ends immediately want to freaking step out on me. I'm going to take it a little bit easier, man. Because with this game, I'm kind of bringing my Forza habits over to it. I'm kind of mashing the throttle, where you do not do that in this game. Get it sideways, get it sideways. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we really spun that there. Now, the bad thing I don't like about this, with traction control off, I've tried it with a few cars in this game, is it's the, the slightest amount of drift. It just spins you, man. It just spins you, even though you're counter-correcting the steering. It freaking spins you, I mean, you can hold some, but not a lot. Not a lot, man. Oh, God, mate. Well, let's see. This is a notorious corner for making me spin. A little bit of gas. I mean, look. Oh, we got it that time. Holy shit. Why is it when I'm recording I'm doing good? It's normally the other way around. I normally do absolutely crap when I'm recording. Boof the gas, boof the gas, boof the gas. Oh, 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 yes! I'm loving you, McLaren! Thank you! You're not showing me up this time on video. Woo! <laughs> oh, man, this is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. I'm enjoying it now, man. I'm enjoying it. Yes, McLaren, you are good. You are very good. Because you have no idea the amount of stress I had last night, guys, trying to get this thing sideways and hold it. Even though it's not the freaking longest of drifts that I've done there, I'm just excited that I actually blooming held it. Oh, man. I'm in love with the McLaren and I'm wrapping it right off the rev limiter. It's first gear, you stupid idiot, get into second. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> this is such a fun car to drive, man. Seriously. Oh, there it is! That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? I mean, I was counter-correcting. I was counter-correcting, as you've seen. And the car just sent me right in the African wall. Oh yes! There we go, sunny boy. There we go. Now, some tracks that I'm looking forward to drive is not kill. I have not driven that yet. And as you all know... FUCKING STILL SPINNING! As you all know, I am from Scotland and that is my local track. Seriously, it's like an hour away from my house, so... Big shout out to all the Scottish folk watching, and big shout out to Knock Hill. I mean, if you're any of the guys for Knock Hill, then big shout out to you. Love the track, love it. And across the lane. So yeah guys, final opinions on the McLaren 720S and Project Cars 2. It is a riot. It is an absolute riot. With traction control turned on, it is really, really good. Really, really good, and stability control turned off as well. It's a bit twitchy, as you've seen in that camera back there. But overall, first impressions on this game and this car, it's a big improvement. Big, big improvement. Obviously, it's not got the graphics of the, like the PC version. I'm more of a console guy, so yeah, that's fine. And I've got nothing against PC players or anything like that. Everyone to their own. Bye what you like. So anyway guys, let me know what car you want to see me review in this new series, Driven and Drifted. I hope you like the name of it. I've kind of tried to incorporate the channel's name into it as well. Thought it was pretty smart. So this will be alongside the Pandafied series, which is my modified series. And that is what I'm going to be focusing on. So yeah, 
fucking love this car, man. I love it. So I'm very happy that I've decided to actually make this my first one of this series because, wow, such a great car. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. As I said, a like would be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and all of my social media stuff is in the description below. Thank you to everyone that has been following me on there and thank you for the general support. And I shall see you in my next video coming tomorrow with a very, very special car of mine. Have a great Saturday night, take it easy, and bye-bye.